This is your first uh, rivalry start. Just what, what have you learned about the Tennessee rivalry since you've been here and kind of how excited are you for this matchup? Yeah, it's a historic rivalry um, that I'm just learning more and more about being in college. Um, it's very exciting to be a part of a rivalry. Um, it's going to take a lot of preparation this week, just preparing how, how hard this opponent is. Um, but it's a great opportunity for us, and we're excited for the challenge. And uh, But it's going to be great. You know, it's great to have this rivalry going on, and it's going to be fun. Fans are going to look at this as a revenge game from what happened last year. How are you guys looking at this game after what you saw last year in Knoxville? Yeah. Um, I think number one thing we have to do is look in the mirror, look at some things that we need to improve on. Um, to help our team win, help our team be successful and ultimately win. Um, but, you know, a lot of things we can learn, a lot of takeaways that we can have um, to approach this week. But number one thing we have to do is just fix some things um, from last week and uh, improve as much as possible today. And then um, that's the focus point, just trying to improve, get 1% better each and every day that we had this week. You mentioned learning more about the rivalry this weekend. Cigars are a big part of it from the fan and player's perspective. Like yeah. when you're kind of an underclassman, are you noticing in the fourth quarter maybe some Alabama fans starting to light them up in the fourth quarter? Like, can you smell it? Like, recognize it while you're on the field? Yeah. Um, you know, with the time I've been here, you know, the rivalry is, you know, I'm learning more and more about the rivalry. And I would say, like, to success, that's like the cherry on top of just smoking, you know, having that cigar at the end of the game. Um, there's no better feeling, you know, to have that. Uh, but it's going to be great for us. You know, we, we got to, you know, take care of some little things before the game starts. But, um, yeah, that's something to be excited for, for sure. Hey, Jalen, how do you not let frustration start to seep in with some of the pass protection issues that have happened during games? Like, if you don't even have time to throw the ball, how do you kind of bounce back up and get, get your mindset back? Yeah. Um, I, think the, I think the biggest thing is the, uh, with the mindset of just approaching and just one, one play at a time. Um, not losing focus. I think that's very key. Um, not to get too high, not to get too low. You have to be at the same position all throughout the game, whether it's good or bad. I think that's very key, you know, just to have the right mindset, the right approach. And then another thing, too, is that mistakes happen. Mistakes happen no matter who we are. We're not perfect. We're not perfect at all by any means. There's only person in this world I've ever perfect in my Lord and Savior. And so we have to focus on that, you know. And the biggest thing too is just um, everyone has, you know, everyone has mistakes, but we can all we can all fix them. And so that's very key, you know. The, the, that's what we're focusing on in the locker room is that we all can get better. So um, I think that's very key. Jalen Tennessee's third in the nation in sacks with 24 sacks, and Bryce Young took a lot of big hits in the game last year. Um, it, how? How important and what, what's the key to getting on the same page with the offensive line this week, considering the great challenge that you're going to be facing? Yeah, um, we're going to have a lot of fun. You know, we don't we don't care about none of that. You know, we just we just another opportunity for us to have fun. Um, we get to play in front of our fans this weekend, so we we excited for that. You know, um, you know a lot of energy going to be floating there uh, with you know the, with playing a great opponent, and it's going to be a lot of fun this weekend. So we're, we're looking we're looking forward for the challenge. Hey, Jalen, we had Deontay in here saying that, you know, last year's game left a bad taste in, in y'all's mouth, just seeing the fans storm the field. What, what sticks with you from last year's game for this one coming up? Yeah, um, I would say one thing, you know, the atmosphere was great. I will say that the atmosphere was great. And our, our fans going to be great this weekend. I know that for sure. You know, with the juice they bring, the energy they bring. So I'm excited for that. But, um, of course, you know, we, we didn't come out on top with the game. So we have to look at it as a learning moment and not, not linger in that, but to learn what some things that we did wrong in that game and try to improve for this game. Um, and just acknowledge that we're not a finished product by any means. Um, so I think that's very key. And uh, like I said, it's a challenge that's going that, to be held this weekend. So we're, you know, we're excited to you know, uh, face, it, face it this weekend. Hey, Jalen. Coach Saban always talks about um, having like the right like having the mental mistakes, how do you fix that? Like what goes into it? I know it's easy for us to say, like, just do what you have to do in order to get those mistakes fixed. But like what really goes into fixing those mental errors? Acknowledging that we made a mental error, I think that's very key. Um, to acknowledging that we made a mistake, made a made an error, or uh, and, uh, and look to improve. I think that's very key. And then also to also be receptive to coaching. I think that's another thing too, is being um, uh, quick quick to listen. That's the answer. I think that's very key for us. And, um, you know, 
there's some things we need to improve on. We're going to try to do that as much as possible, but we do have to limit uh, missile error for sure. While you've been in Tuscaloosa, a couple of videos of you kind of lifting and working out, kind of like a little viral among the fans, just kind of in that same mindset. The fourth quarter program is kind of known as being really taxing on players. Kind of what was your experience with it? And it's kind of, are all the stories about it true? And it's kind of how, how hard it and how well it does in preparing you for the season? I say as far as the off-season program, I think that's my favorite moment, you know, throughout the off-season program because it's an opportunity to be with your teammates and go through hardship, go through a challenge, and before any season, you know, you have that time with your brothers to really sweat, you know, bleed, all that stuff. Um, so, you know, that's a great opportunity for us to, you know, get get in shape, but also face challenges with your brothers. Um, and so, instead of seeing it as a negative thing, oh, it's a hard, hard training, we see it as a positive because it's a part of our program. It's part of our, um, when we hold up the fourth quarter, it's, it's a part of our program with doing the fourth quarter program. So, um, there's a lot of takeaways that we can have from fourth quarter for sure. What do you remember from that final completion against Arkansas to the black over the middle? It looks like you were kind of thrown off your right leg uh, with a lot of pressure. And then also, how much of a weapon is he uh, for your across the middle in the intermediate game? Yeah, no matter where Amari Nyblak is on the field, I have trust in him. And, uh, you know, I, I saw the, the route concept. I knew he was going to pop open. And, uh, you know, at the, at the end of the day, the job, our job and our objective is to win the game you know, by any means. And, uh, you know, that was a chance to win the game. And uh, Amari did, uh, did all the, the job in that play. And, uh, we, you know, we were fortunate to, you know, get the drive going and he caught the ball. So it was great for us, for sure. Jalen, um, do you feel any pressure being the quarterback here at Alabama? This past Sunday you have Bryce and Tua playing in the NFL. You have Mac Jones. You have Jalen Hurts. Um, and if you do have pressure, how do you deal with that? Uh, with pressure, um, I think I seen it as a, a positive thing. We shouldn't f fear pressure at all. Uh, how I see f fear is uh, face everything and rise, um, and see everything as an opportunity for sure. Um, and then uh, with another thing too is preparation. Preparation is very key to any success. And um, I think I try to. That's my biggest thing. That's my you know what I try to do as much as possible. Be, be prepared for any situation that that may hap may happen. Um, so there's nothing to be, you know, too tense about or stressed about by any by any means. I think the biggest thing is just being prepared as much as possible, and then the support system I have around me. You know, uh, to say I can do anything by myself, I don't. I don't believe in that. You know, I, it takes a great team, it takes a whole village, and I have a great guys around me to help me um, push through any situation. So um, I'm blessed to have a great support system, and I know I can, you know, thrive to any any situation.